everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you are doing well. It's that time again where I am going to add to my TBR list and hopefully yours as well and we get to talk about some awesome books that are coming out this November. I am so excited. First is Into the Blood Red Woods by Martha Brockenbrow. This book got me with the tagline which is, and forgive me, I'm going to read it because my brain, I would never memorize, <laughs> never be able to memorize it. It's Once Upon a Time There Was a Kingdom and a Forest That Liked to Eat Men and a Girl who would change everything. Sold. It made me laugh as well as I felt the danger on board, 100%. But to give you a bit more, the story is of a kingdom that has been divided in two. The king passed away and passed everything down to his children, his son and daughter, and divided it evenly. Way to go, king. But of course, the brother can't be happy with that. So he takes over and she is exiled and has to come back and obviously fight for not only her side of the kingdom, but the entire kingdom. Because of course, the brother does not deserve <laughs> to be a ruler. He is not a kind and honest man. It sounds awesome, action-packed. I absolutely love the idea of such a strong female main character taking back what's rightfully hers and basically kicking ass and saving the day. What more can you ask for? And for a bonus for you guys, it actually came out this past Tuesday, so if that sounds awesome to you, you can already go read it, so go check it out now. Second is Year of the Reaper by Machia Lucier. I think I'm saying that correctly. Look how awesome this cover is. I would read this on the cover alone. It looks so badass. But of course, the story sounds fabulous as well. This is a fantasy about a kingdom that has been ravaged by plague and politics and an engineer's apprentice that gets sort of caught up into all of this and he has to sort of save the day even for a kingdom that has basically turned its back on him and figure out what's going on. Based on the description, and the cover alone, I can only imagine how powerful the action is going to be in this as well as the politics. So it is right up my alley. I cannot wait to get this on my shelves. Also, it comes with a Kristen Kishore and a Juliet Mariller. Mariller? Am I saying that right? M Marillier? Tell me in the comments if you know how to say that. It comes with uh, both of those authors, their quotes. So you know it's got to be awesome because if you haven't read those two authors, now I just added even more to your TBR. You definitely need to read everything by them. They are phenomenal. Third is Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I always mix their last names up. I don't know why my brain cannot keep them straight. This is the third and final book in this series. I cannot wait to see what happens to this ragtag group of teens that's basically set out to save the galaxy against all odds. The story is told from a whopping six different points of view, so it took a little while for me to get used to the style. It seemed very overwhelming in the beginning, but once I got used to it and got to know all of the characters and everything that was going on, I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for this book to come out. I have been waiting forever. It is on my auto buy list. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check out book one. Start there. Obviously, work your way up to book three. You will not regret it. Finally, Death by Laura Thalassa. Again, I might be butchering these last names. If any of these authors ever do see these videos, my apologies come let me know how to say your name. I probably should know for how much I love your book. This book is a romance. It's the final book in the Four Horsemen series. The first book in the series is Pestilence. It took me forever to read it, even with all of the hype online and everything like that, because all I could think about was that supernatural episode where they have Pestilence come to the, uh, the like basically the 7-Eleven and he's like smearing all of like the snot and goo everywhere. <laughs> it's just, he's spreading disease and sickness and it's so gross. And I was like, how in the world are you going to make that sexy? Like, how are you going to possibly pass that off as a romance? And this author did it and she did it phenomenally well to the point where I, and I am not a super emotional person necessarily. And that book made me cry and yet still gave me the good feels in the end that I just so on board. She did such a great job. I cannot wait to see what she does with death because obviously death is number four, the biggest, the baddest, and I think it's going to be epic. So I'm really excited to dive in. If you haven't checked out this series and you are a fan of kind of darker romance, not to mention gut-wrenching feels as you work your way through because, I mean, we're talking the four horsemen here, so people are dying epic 
end of the world things are happening. This is not a, you know, happy go lucky type of a series. But if that's on your vibe, if that's what you like to read, definitely check these out as well. There are so many that I could have recommended for this month, but those are probably my top four that I am going to immediately buy as soon as I can get my grubby little hands on them. So I'm super excited. What else should I be looking out for this month? What are you excited to read? Let me know in the comments. If you loved this video and you want to keep getting new books to add to your TBR each month, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can know when new videos come out. I also do content on writing, editing, and publishing, so you're gonna get a whole host of things with that subscription. So definitely don't forget to do that. And until next week, keep reading and writing.